Good evening, California, United States. Um, Shankar Singham with uh, your favorite California nationalist. First day of the year here, January 2017. Um, getting a lot of comments up on YouTube about um, about California not lasting a year. We're going to go broke. Uh, we're not going to have enough food. We're going to run out of food. We're out of water. Um, some countries are going to invade us. Uh, just uh, the homeless are going to take over. We're going to be speaking Spanish. Just ridiculous comments. But the ones that intrigue me the most are the ones that posted the numbers up. Because I like the numbers. Um, uh, some people said that we're... One person said we're in a trillion dollars in debt. Now, I don't know where or how he's gotten that, num that number from. I know we have a pension fund that we owe a trillion dollars to. That is all negotiable, workable with our... California workers. Nothing to do with the Fed, but a trillion dollars to the Fed, I have no idea where he's getting from. So look, where do I get my numbers from? Okay, I get it from the U.S. The US Department of Labor, Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Uh, that's where anybody has to get their numbers from. Uh, them, the Census Bureau, that's the federal government. They're the only ones that do, uh, that do this kind of uh, stats taken. Um, they take it. They just burst our funds back to us through the state. State, you know, dispense it back to the municipalities uh, according to the data that they get. So look, I get my numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and you know I've got California numbers up here, and I look at three indicators mostly, okay, uh, just pertaining to me. One, I look at employment, okay. I want to see employment at least on a slow rise, and then I look at um, I look at construction, and then I look at manufacturing, and I look at trade, okay. Those are the three most important ones to me, especially construction. Uh, I'm in the industry myself; um, it's a huge indicator of the economy. So, you know, if construction's on a steady increase, and if I'm busy all day, which I am, um, I know the economy's picking up. Because if construction's picking up, that means that's new businesses, that's new remodels, that's new construction, new retail. Um, uh, things are getting built. So I know uh, the economy's doing good. As soon as construction starts going down, uh, I, I put on my seatbelt. I get ready because I think the economy is about to start going down as well. So look at uh, employment. For California, it looks like... Um, Looks like we went up from 3.6 to 4.1, uh, 0.36 to 0.41. So uh, a 0.5 difference on employment. Good, good, slow, steady rise. And then as far as uh, construction, um, looks like we are at uh, uh, 70, 71 to 75. So four point bump on uh, construction. And then we look at I look at manufacturing. Manufacturing will look like we got a uh, uh, 275 to 282. So seven point bump right there. Uh, that one's huge manufacturing and then let's look at trade because what we make we have to sell and uh, Looks like we went from a uh, 0.004 to 0.014. So uh, a 0.01 increase again nice slow steady bump. So again, California uh, Slow steady rise as it has been the past couple of years if you check these numbers all the way back to 2013 It's you'll see this rise uh uh, go up slowly. So let's look at another state, all right? Let's look at a red state. Let's go for Arizona right next to us. This state is right next to us, okay? Um, big red state. Let's look at their employment numbers. Um, this is as of 2016, 3.066 to 3.090. So it went up 0.3. Good, good, good for Arizona. Construction, let's see how they're doing there. It looks like it went from 139 to 135. That's a four point drop in construction. For me, that's huge. For me, I'm struggling a little bit, okay? Not struggling, but I'm, I'm feeling a pinch right there. Manufacturing, looks like they went from a 157 to a 158. It's actually about a half a point bump. Not, not, not good, not bad. And then trade, their trade is at uh, 519 to 515, a four point uh, drop again. So, looks like things are a little hard in Arizona. You know what, Arizona should probably bump their taxes up a little bit and have that little cushion to taxes because, I mean, uh, you know, this is capitalism. There's just uh, variables, fluctuating variables that we can't tell. You don't know when people are buying, when they're selling. And, you know, just to hedge yourself against that, you want to keep a nice little cushion of, of taxes that you can always fall back on that the state will have you on. Um, that's what I, I believe. That's what uh, pretty much the rest of the planet believes as well. Um, so Arizona feeling a punch, but this is where I get my numbers, guys. Where do you get your numbers from? Anytime you guys post your numbers up on my on my site or on my Facebook or on my uh, uh, in my social media, just tell me where you got your numbers from, and then just put a little link on there. Or because I mean, if you don't cite your sources, I mean, 
you're literally talking out of your ass, okay? I, I really don't believe it. So please uh, cite your sources. Tell me where you're going to Me, Bureau of Labor Statistics, Bureau of Labor Statistics, ugh, Statistics, and uh, Census Bureau. Um, always go right to the, uh, also, you know, Congressional Budget Office. Um, I always use the uh, the federal sites. It's, you have to. Uh, there's, and 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 I know you conservatives won't believe them. <laughs> so I mean, uh, you can cite your Fox News site if you want. Just cite something so I know where you got your numbers from. Okay. Uh, next thing, China. I keep hearing China is beating us on solar. I was talking about solar last last uh, last post. So look, solar. Yeah, they are beating us. They've got a um, a heck of a lot more panels up, panel sites up than us. We are booming, though, too, on solar. Uh, they've got a billion people there, so I'm not surprised. Uh, big deal. As far as innovation, it's us all the way. Believe me on that. Uh, the reason why China's on it is because they know this is the future. It, everything's going to be solar. It's, it's our key to free energy, guys. Free energy, okay? Panels are cheap. Uh, electricity is now really cheap. So think of what else we can power that won't use a lot of energy now because we can make it so cheap. Now, I'll let you think about that for a little bit and have some vision because that's one thing that we Californians have. It's called original thought. And China, no original thought. They copy. How do they copy? We go over there with our ideas. We tell them to make it. We show them how to make it. They make it. We bring it back here and we sell it. Then they copy us and they send it back to over here and we look at it. And how does it work? Like shit. It doesn't work. It's a piece of garbage. It's Chinese garbage that they try to come up on their own. That's because they have no idea what they're making. They're making something for us that we know how to use. And so they add a little doodad or put something in there that doesn't belong. And we're like, why the hell do they do this? And all of a sudden the whole thing just, it's just a piece of shit. You know, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Again, that's because China has no original thought. There hasn't been a time when China has come up with something so original that the rest of the world is like, oh my God, you see what China, Hong Kong came out with? We got to go to China to go check this thing out. Never, never, never. Uh, and they won't. They're not uh, geared up for 21st century tech like that. They're always on, they're always on catch up. So, and they've got a high speed rail. Uh, just like everybody else, uh, you know, every first world country's got a high speed rail system except for us, of course. But uh, our good Jerry Brown is building the high-speed rail. Um, it's The tracks are up. The Anaheim station's up. Uh, we're just waiting for the train. Uh, in fact, this last two ballots ago, I just uh, voted yes for this bond measure. I just wrote him a free, a blank check. Said, hey, take whatever money you, you need. We need this train in a bad way. Uh, I can't tell you how important that is as well. So hopefully he's building that train. He's also building our aqueduct so uh, us here in SoCal can have some water. Uh, those are his two biggest projects that he's got right now. But high-speed rail, we're building it. China's got it. Right, cons? We got to do it too. Um, last thing, you conservatives that have been talking on there. I just got to say this to you guys. The California conservatives especially. Um, you guys move out of California and you guys go into, I don't know, Texas or, uh, or Colorado. And uh, you think that, oh, it's too liberal over here. We're too elitist over here. Uh, I'm going to move to Colorado. Um, guess what? When you move over there, uh, you're still liberal over there because those conservatives don't consider you conservative at all. I've seen the sites and I've seen them post it. They don't like you. In fact, they want you to move back or move out. They don't like you there. You're changing their state. Uh, you either instill like a plastic bag ban or like in Colorado, you guys made pot legal. <laughs> so uh, they don't like that. They're not like that guys so uh, you might think you fit in over there but in the back of their heads and in their behind your back they don't like you guys so um you guys want to come back here come on back uh you know of course you're more than welcome here uh come on back here oh and uh tell them to keep their homeless over there we have a huge homeless problem here in california um in fact there's a tent city happening right down here on scent in the santa Ana riverbed uh, it's ginormous. It's getting huge. I mean, uh, it's like a literally a tent city about a good mile long. Um, and if you, you know, talk to any homeless people anywhere here in California and you, you know, ask them, you know, Hey, where, where are you from? Nine times out of 10, they're from your state. Uh, we have a lot of homeless coming here from out of state because it's, uh, your weather is shitty. It's, uh, it's too cold for them to live there. And whereas out here, the weather's the same. And, uh, you know, you pop on a sweater and you're good to go in the winter and, 
and a tank top in the summertime. That's all you need out here. But uh, so it's easy for homeless to survive out here. How? So they come out here. You guys tend to equate the homelessness with us being like we don't know how to take care of our own. It's not. It's you guys don't know how to take care of your own and they're coming over here. That's okay. Uh, we'll take care of them as well. You already, we already subsidized your state uh, with our income tax. You guys already taken our money on that. Well, we'll take your homeless as well. Okay, we can handle that as well. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say. California conservatives, come back. Um, the rest of you guys out there, yesterday, neocons out there, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be doing battle the rest of the year, I guess. Looking forward to it. Let's get these debates out. Very healthy because um, uh, California is going to secede. And like I said, guys, it's not going to happen in two years, four years, or 10 years, or 40 years. It's going to happen. And you are going to follow along. Your state will follow along. Okay, uh, that's it. Have a happy new year, guys. And um, enjoy your Monday off.